Brian Powell of Iron Far here at the Gediminis Grenius before the 2016 Vibram Hong Kong 100K. How are you, Grenius? I'm good. Hi, Brian. Welcome to the 2016 season. You're kicking <laughs> it off. <laughs> yeah, it started actually very fast, and you know, just after the 2015, you know, early January, I'm back in 2016. Yeah, it's too fast for me, but it's maybe because of the changes we made, you know. Yeah, you um. Through much of 2015, you had an amazing season. You had Trans Grand Canaria, you win. You had a great race at Western States. You win Ultra Trail Fuji. And then you had Diagonal Defu. What happened there? Uh, you know, like from the beginning of 2015, I planned to do all the 100 milers in the Ultra Trail World Throw, and it was my main purpose. And I thought that I can do it, but uh, you know, you never know. So, like, uh, coming back to the old, uh, UTMB. Basically, the problem was the physical one, mm -hmm. and in the reunion, I have a mental problem. You know, it happened very fast in my life that I, my body just, you know, was able to run, mm -hmm. and I was full of the force that my mind just shut and, you know, just, you know, didn't give a command to my body to move. You know, when I started to do the strange things like swim in the stream, you know, pick up the, the bananas, you know, and other crazy stuff. Yeah, I enjoy it, but, you know, I suffer it and I just decided. Now, have you dealt with that before in a race where you didn't have the motivation? No, I actually didn't have such a race where I lacked motivation. I all the time was willing to fight, you know, I'm a fighter, but in that race in Renew and I don't know it's just just my mind shut you know me down and I couldn't run you know I was able to run but I just didn't find the power to move my legs up there, but now I after the race have you figured out why that might have been I believe that I was overtrained tired of the long season and I just was not bored in the race but some kind of you know not willing to fight and this was the problem so I believe too much racing too much training uh, this was the happened to me now this is only three months later now. Did you get a chance to take some time off to find more motivation? Yeah, I took some time off, you know, running. Um, I believe it was like three up to four weeks. Mm -hmm. And when I started to run, I thought maybe it's not enough because my training didn't well and went well. But after a while, I am back on the track and I hope that it will be good January for me. Now, it is the beginning of the year, it's January, you live in outside of Vilnius, Lithuania, not known for its famous mountains or really you probably can't get on the trails much right now. How have you prepared for this race? I actually was lucky and I had like extended holidays in uh, December, so I went to Barcelona to train with Jordi who is going to participate here in the race as well. So. I just was trailing on the Montserrat mountain, you know, in some part of Tyrrhenius. So I prepared myself physically, you know, for the climbing. And, you know, yes, in Lithuania there is a total winter, you know, minus 20. And I usually run just after a walk hour, so it's in the dark and it's even colder. So sometimes I'm splitting my single run in the, you know, in the two sessions, just running 10 kilometers, going back home, doing the box training, you know, and stepping on the box and mm -hmm. taking some kind of climbing and again running for another 10 because it's like... You don't want to do 20K outside? Yeah, I don't want because it's like, it's, it's dangerous, you know, you can freeze to death. Like. It's that cold? It's that cold, especially for my fingers. Like, all the body can cope with the cold pretty much well, but the fingers were freezing. I, you know, it's like real painful and after that it takes a lot of time to get them to normal stance back. So you, um, if I understand correctly, did a little heat training? For Hong Kong yeah you know like I was surprised because the people who advised me about the race they told me oh it will be the you know hot race you must do something because in Lithuania it's like minus and here it'll be like plus maybe 20 and you know the humidity so it should be uh, very hot so I did some sauna you know training some hot adaptations in a, in a sauna you know like basically on running jumping in the sauna hitting up for 30 minutes you know in like a few days in a row but, you know, it never happened. I just had a few running sessions here to recover the Hong Kong course. And it was like really cold, you know. I've never put my jacket off even though I came from a minus 20. Yeah, and the uh, race day forecast is maybe a high of 10 or 11. Yeah, I saw that. It's like, yeah, 9, 11, and so it's, it will be cold. So yeah. now I'm regretting when I didn't brought my, you know, gloves and hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, a new year often means change. And for you, it did. You've uh, moved to the Vibram team. Yeah, I moved to Vibram team and yeah, I'm very glad about that. Now we were talking earlier and you said that you actually 
been thinking about this team in Polar Tech since you started ultra running, really. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, it's true. Basically, when I was a known runner and I started to contact some companies, you know, to asking them for sponsorship and support. But Vibram was the first one whom I approached, you know, but apparently the manager was too busy and uh, my letter is, or my email is somewhere in his, like, inbox or track or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you um, having a bunch of brands worth of shoes to be able to race, and since you can use any app, mm -hmm. any shoe company, um, what shoes are you going to choose on Saturday? Yeah, this is this is actually a good point because I like Vibram because you can run with basically all the brands who are using the Vibram, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but for this race, I'll choose Hoka, and it will be Hoka Huaka, but like will be a little bit ad adapted and by adaptation I mean you know the vibram sole in it. So mega grip then? Yeah mega grip for sure. Yeah. 